Hi, this is Farrell, and welcome to my new video and my YouTube channel and all that stuff. Uh, so this is uh, page eight of Robot Todd that I'm just finishing up here. I just had a couple little spots here and there. It was like one last 20-minute session. Um, it's like over a week ago now. I, I took a, a break. I went to uh, California for a couple days. And I'm back, and the 20 minutes a day thing, this is a, uh, a thumbnail of the, the new page that I'm starting, the page 9, that you'll see here. I'm laying it out, and I'm kind of using the previous page, page 8, uh, to just see where the, uh, the grid is at, the, how big, you know, the proportions of the page. It's, uh, this whole comic pretty much is a four-panel grid. Uh, I might do a few, pan a few pages with more panels, and... I'll, I'll probably do a lot of pages with less panels. Um, I, I would like to do a lot of like two panel pages and spreads, but as I'm writing it, as you can see in that little thumbnail, I'm, uh, I'm kind of uh, tweaking it a little bit. So I, it might end up being mostly four panel pages and hopefully not more than that. Um, it's kind of a fun way for me to stretch out. And so this is the first day of actually drawing on the thing. First 20 minute session. I didn't really get much done. As you can see here, I'm just, uh, kind of trying to rough rough in where I, I, you know, kind of had in my head. I didn't really have the, uh, you can see that I'm, I'm referencing the previous page, but I didn't have like in the thumbnail, I didn't have like a, a breakdown of this page. So I'm just kind of laying it out on the page as I go. I mean, I had a, a mental image of what I wanted it. I wanted this character in, um, to be sitting at a distance watching this uh, building through a little monitor, but she's actually kind of paying more attention to her phone trying to get service. Um, this is like a post-apocalyptic world in the far future, but I figured there'd still be ways to communicate with other people, uh, like via magic and like old satellites and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a fantasy story. Ultimately it's not <laughs> science fiction isn't super, uh, logical or anything. Um, it's just more of like a, yeah, like a, uh, kind of a little more whimsical and, um, dreamlike i guess so here you can see that uh this is the next session here i'm going over the layout i did last time the rough layouts and just kind of trying to refine it more and sort of get uh i, I think it felt like i'd kept making her ears smaller and smaller because that was the way i had it originally on the cover um i have a, a tendency to do that sometimes where i'll uh draw something one way intentionally and then just I guess just not paying attention or laziness or whatever, it'll sort of evolve into something else without meaning to and then feeling annoyed of like, why isn't her hat fitting on her head? And like, oh, her ears are too big. I've been making her ears too big. Uh, and it sounds silly, but it's, uh, <laughs> I spent a lot of time by myself. So here you can see this session. Um, I pretty much, uh, those first two panels, refined the first panel a lot and then uh, added more to the second panel. This is my, as my desk, and here's a little break. I, I started uh, like a week or so ago just to paint again, um, and this is just a little gouache and acrylic uh, rough that, and this uh, is just like a drawing I did on a board, and you'll see uh, I, I paint, decided to paint the some of the background, like the water they're standing in. I have this old black and white photo of these two girls standing in, you know, like a mom and a daughter or something standing in the water. So I changed the the, the little girl to like a weird bird creature and um, you can kind of see the photo there on the left and my arm's not in the way. But I just, I, I was I was looking at this black and white photo and I was really getting this image in my head of uh, the color. Like I used to do that as a kid where I'd watch black and white TV and be like, oh, that person's wearing a red shirt and that person's wearing a, <laughs> like I don't, I would just kind of, my brain would just sort of fill in the color and I just was doing that when I was looking at the picture. I'm like, oh, that'd be kind of fun to paint. So I just spent, uh, this doesn't really count as part of my Robot Todd days, but I did it, I think, on the same day I was doing that, that last page and, um, or the next page and just, just decided to, just to have some fun painting, and I did. So it was kind of neat to get to do that, and I don't know when I'll ever finish this painting or if I'll work on it more later, but uh, it was kind of like a fun, and I kind of like it how it is now. Um, I mean, it's not finished, obviously, but it, something kind of nice about it. It, I think, but here we go. It's back to Robot Todd, and you can see I'm erasing, 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 pencil, pencil, pencil. And after this, I think it was this session or maybe the next session, 
actually brought the uh, page into the other room when I was doing my nightly uh, television show watching and worked on it a little more, uh, worked on the pencils a little more, refined them a little more. Okay, it was definitely the next session because this is the whole page there. I think like that session I had mostly worked on the bottom two panels. Um, this session as well, I think, uh, yeah, I was just basically working on the whole page here, kind of going around and uh, usually I was like, we'll work on one panel and then kind of like, well, my eyes kind of glance up to the previous panel that I've done. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I can see all the stuff I want to change or fix on that page. Um, yeah, it seems like it's, it's uh, yeah, you can see here that this was definitely worked on more after that last session. Um, but, uh, and I think the next session here, which is the last on this video, is uh, inking. I started inking it, um, and I mostly just worked on the lettering, and this is with a Faber-Castell pit pen. I think I did most of the lettering with the size S, it's like a smaller size, and then switch to an F for some of the bigger, like the onomatopoeia uh, in the panel four. And there might, might have been a couple other little things that I used the, the F on. You, I mean, you can kind of see, I think the holy, which is like going to be her, I guess, curse word or expression that she uses. All right, that's the video for this time. Thanks for watching. And I have a Patreon if you want to check that out. It's uh, two bucks a month to join. And uh, we'll see you soon.